This is from Euronews.com. I don't think I've ever uh, read a headline from them. It says, an American journalist has claimed that he was detained on Monday after trying to enter world, the World Cup Stadium in Qatar, where same-sex relationships are outlawed, while wearing a rainbow shirt in support of the LGBT community. So this is Grant Wall is his name. And he put a picture up there very proudly. He's got the, he's got the rainbow flag. And he says, just now, security guard refusing to let me into the stadium for USA Wales. You have to change your shirt. It's not allowed, he says. Uh, he says that he was um, taken away and that he was detained for nearly a half hour. But then he says that they, uh, that they later apologized to him and let him into the, let him into the country. So that, that's what he says happened. And we're seeing stunts like this, and it, usually the stunt is, is quickly abandoned. There have been various, including the USA team. You know, originally they were talking about rainbow flags changing the uniform, and they didn't really end up doing that. But they did have, I think in their practice facility, they had the rainbow flags all over the place. So we're getting this from, these, from uh, some of these Western people that are showing up there. Um, but you just see it's interesting how quickly the respect all cultures stuff goes out the window, isn't it? I mean, say what you want, but this is Qatar. It's their country. It's a non-Western, non-white country. And now you've got white people, white Westerners like Grant Wall, showing up and saying, I don't respect your customs. I don't, I don't respect your, your beliefs. I'm going to do what I want in your country. I'm going to tell you how you should run your country. Your laws don't mean anything to me. Because I'm the white Western guy, and I'll, I'll tell you, I will inform, I will show up and be and be the uh, and and be the 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 arbiter of morality, the source of morality. It is a it is a, a form of this kind of moral colonialism that you see from the West, this ideological colonialism that you see almost uniquely these days from the left. And yet, in any other context, these same people would claim that they're all about multiculturalism. Well, you don't care about multiculturalism if you're not accepting a person's culture, including the parts of it you don't like. So if you're saying, I'm a multiculturalist, I enjoy multiculturalism, um, I enjoy all cultures and I respect all cultures, except for the parts of those cultures I don't personally prefer and that don't line up with my values. Well, if that's the case, then you don't believe in multiculturalism and you don't respect other cultures. It's kind of like saying, I respect all free speech except for the speech that I don't like. Well, then you don't respect free speech. So it all goes out the window immediately. And also, I, I do have to say, and there have been uh, some, you know, Qatari citizens who have uh, spoken out about this. Here's one, for example, says, as a Qatari, I'm proud of what happened. I don't know when will the Westerners realize that their values aren't universal. There are other cultures with different values that should be equally respected. Let's not forget that the West is not the spokesperson for humanity. Now, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, and um, you had the, the president of FIFA that was saying, well, the West has a lot to apologize for. But he meant historically. He was taking about th taking it back 3,000 years. And so he was doing the whole white guilt routine, going back 3,000 years and all of our and all of our dastardly sins. Um, that is absurd. But if we're talking about modern day, if we're talking about the West in, the, in, in modern times, the West right now, I would agree that we just are not in a position to morally lecture anyone, I'm afraid to say. We in the West are not in a position so we can put ourselves on a pedestal and say, oh, those, look at those, those Qataris and their disgusting laws, they have no respect for human decency. We're just not in a position to assume the moral high ground. We don't have the moral high ground. We surrendered it in this country. We did. It's very sad to say, but it's true. I mean, like we talked about yesterday, we, we live in a country uh, in, 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 in modern times where we execute, we've executed 60 million babies in the womb. 60 million. And if you believe that those are human beings, then you believe that in our country, we, and I say we in the general sense, are responsible for arguably the worst mass slaughter of the innocent that's ever happened on the planet. And then to make matters worse, we also castrate, sterilize our kids. We don't even have a, 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 a sense of, you know, what a man or woman is anymore. We're just utterly, completely confused. 
We celebrate evil and debauchery in its most deranged forms. That's what we do in this country. And then we think that we're in a position to go and ideologically colonize the globe and tell them they need to be more like us. Well, the problem is that the other countries, when we say that, when we give that pitch and we say, you should be more like us. Well, the members of the other country, they look at us like freaks. They look at us like a bunch of confused weirdos. They, they, they look at us and say, well, I don't, I don't want to be like you. Why would I want to be like you? You mean over in your country where you think that, that men can get pregnant? You mean over in your country where you're, you're sterilizing little boys to turn them into girls? You are surgically and medically altering little boys to make them girls and you think we want to be like you? It's just, it's not a convincing sales pitch. I noticed this when I was over, uh, when we were in Kenya, and it was, it was very sad to see that the people in Kenya, they look at America now with, uh, it really, it's, like a, it's almost like a paternalistic pity, like a kind of, they're there, you sad, confused children sort of thing, when they hear about what's happening here. And can you blame them? You saw in the film, I asked uh, one of them, you know, uh, would you ever want to move to America? And they laughed. They laughed at the idea that they would ever want to move here. That's what we have made of ourselves on the uh, world stage. Remember when Donald Trump was president, we heard so much uh, hand-wringing and fretting from the left about how we won't be respected on the world stage. Well, the countries, they don't care about who the president is, whether it's Donald Trump or someone else. It's about the culture. Okay, they're not, they're not looking at our politics. They're looking at our culture. And these non-Western countries are seeing our culture and seeing a culture that, has, that is just caving in on itself, that is eating itself. And uh, they're saying, I just, I'm not interested in your moral lectures. Can you blame them? I can't. I just can't. That'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the uh, members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.